Hey guys, I'm Maddie. And I'm Kathleen. And we're both OT students here at Augusta University. And we're at the Atlanta airport right now about to leave on our Jamaica International Fieldwork Experience. Right now, we are in our third semester of OT school about to go on our third level one fieldwork rotation. This week, we'll be working with mustard seed communities in, in Monog, Jamaica, with different um, populations of people with disabilities. Come with us on our journey. What are you nervous about? I'm looking forward to sleeping. Um, peace and quiet, hopefully. And I'm not nervous about anything, so. Woo, good. Yeah. I'm nervous because I don't have control. Because I'm a driver. I know. No, yeah. I want to ask if I can drive. Get it. Haley up there as the pilot. <laughs> you, know, you can drive. Oh, looks like we have a new pilot soon. We just made it through customs and we're here in Jamaica. Woo! We made it. Hey guys, I'm here with Maria and we just arrived to Jacob's Ladder. We landed in Jamaica about two hours ago and drove an hour and a half here. So Maria, how are you feeling? I'm excited. Um, everything's been good so far. I love our little setup that we have. We've got some soup um, ready to be eaten and yeah. Um, what are you most looking forward to this week? Um, I'm pretty excited about meeting all the residents um, tomorrow morning, just like waking up and kind of, it sounds like they'll be kind of waiting for us outside, so I'm really excited about it. Woo! Hey guys, we're here at Jacob's Ladder where we're staying. We got in kind of late last night, but we had a wonderful suit prepared for us for dinner. And we just had a little orientation with our care team, which is like our mission team that's here to support us at our journey and be with us throughout our time in Jamaica. Right now, we're about to go on a tour of the compound here at Jacob's Ladder and check out where we're going to be working all week. Hey guys, what are y'all up to? We're getting ready to do our first activity of the week. We're gonna be leading the parachute activity. Woo! It's the very first one we do with the residents when we land in Jamaica and we hear it. It's a crowd favorite, everyone loves it. <laughs> so we're gonna, we're figuring out we're gonna have a good time. Woo, can't wait. All right, I'm here with Daphne. Daphne, tell me a little about what you did this morning. This morning we had breakfast and then we had a tour around Jacob's Ladder. We got to hang out with residents and now we're waiting to go to the village in Jerusalem. Awesome, what was your favorite part? Uh, my favorite part was probably getting just to see the whole entire property and then meet all the sweet residents. <laughs> say hi! Hey! Can you wave, say hi! Very nice, let's see what you got over here. Awesome work. Another cool ball, that's gonna be awesome. Hey, welcome to Jerusalem. <laughs> hey guys, this morning we got to Jerusalem and got a really cool tour of the facility. We got to see the different school classrooms, um, the different living quarters where some of the residents live and just got to check out the space we'll be working with this week. And then our group kind of split in half. I went with 10 residents on an outing to the grocery store where residents um, got to pick out stuff for our cooking recipes that we're going to be making tomorrow and pick out a surprise. We got to practice transfers and just 
talking with them at the grocery store was a really cool experience. And then I stayed here with about 10 other of our OT students and we split up to be in the children's home in the village and half of us made a Play-Doh making craft and then half of us, half of us made kites. Oh, and then off the room. Oh, here's your room. Room. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Anything you want to say? What do you want to say, Jerome? But why don't you show off your cart real quick? Yeah, show off your cart. Yeah, show show all about it. Oh, and we can see this kite that was made. Oh, oh yeah, cool. here we go. Jerome made that today. Very, Very nice. nice. Show off. Looking that. good. We love it. And then once everyone came back, we got to help the residents during their lunch hour, and we got to take part in some therapeutic feeding, which is really awesome. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Say bye, Jerome. We're we'll wave bye. We're really good for the day. We're heading back up to Jacob's Ladder. Good morning, everybody. We just wanted to give you a little day in the life of an AU OT student on a Jamaica study abroad. So we stay at Jacob's Ladder, which is this beautiful place, and it is a location for adults with disabilities. And while they're here, they get to, some of them get to participate in a work program, they get to participate in activities, and whenever there are volunteers or mission trips here, they get to interact with those people. Yeah, so basically, a typical in a typical day, we wake up pretty early, have breakfast here, and then we drive down about an hour to Jerusalem, where the children's home and adults village is. It's about an hour away. And when we get there, um, we participate in their morning prayer group, and then we usually run our first activity around 9.30 or 10. Today we're actually doing cooking activities, so we're making pancakes and some pudding. And then we'll have lunch, we'll help the residents with feeding, um, get to feed them, whatever they're having for lunch that day. And then we'll have an afternoon group, I think this afternoon. I think we're doing another cooking. We're doing another cooking activity, lots of food today. And then around 3 or 4 o'clock we'll head back to um, Jacob's Ladder for an evening activity with the residents here. And then we'll have dinner and call it a night. And then all these activities we're doing are trying to foster independence with the residents, give them something to engage in and to be a part of. Them. I really got it. You put them in here when you're done. <laughs> She's a pro at this. Ooh. Good job. On time. On time. Now you can wait. Technique. Cookie technique. Oh, sharing. We love that. <laughs> How is it, David? Good? You give it two thumbs up? Hey, everyone. It's day four. It's the big day. Today, we're going to the water park. We are bringing 35 residents to the water park. It's the biggest group that they've ever sent there, and we are gonna be working on gross motor skills and have our residents go up and down the water slides, hang out in the pool. It's gonna be awesome. We're so excited! Woo! <laughs> yeah. Woo! Splash, splash! Malik, splash! This week we have had the blessing of forming so many meaningful and awesome relationships with so many of the residents there and I think that's one thing at least for me and Maddie that 
brought us to wanting to do OT. Um, it's such an awesome profession that allows you to build those close relationships with people, and we certainly did that this week. So, gonna be a bittersweet day for sure, but we're gonna make the most of it. It's our last night in Jamaica. We had a really bittersweet day. We started it off by going to the beach, exploring the town. A couple of us even went snorkeling. And then we ended our day here at Jacob's Ladder doing a talent show and dance party with some of our favorite residents. Uh, Maddie, what was your favorite memory from the week? I think just the pure joy you ex I experience when you're here. You can like say you experience joy and happiness when you're in the States, when you and you do. But when you're here with these residents, it's just life changing and it's just a different level of joy. What about you? What was your favorite part? I would have to agree with that. I think one of my favorite things that happened this week was just forming such genuine connections with all the residents. Like when I was in college, someone told me that the best thing you can experience in life is genuine human connection. And I feel like we did that all week. Um, I feel like we've all been so reassured that OT is what we are meant to do. And we're all so thankful we chose this profession and that was just so evident this week. And it was so awesome to see everyone in their element doing their thing. So I'm just really thankful for this time we spent together and the fact that we got to know some of the most amazing residents in the world. Yeah, and with that human connection, like we made it with the residents and then also like with our cohort, like I feel like this group of girls, like we've just become so much closer with each other, with our professors and it's fun to see your professors in a situation where they're not there just teaching you and they're also experiencing the same thing as you. Because I remember like you can go on trips like this and everyone's gonna say oh like you're gonna make such a difference with these people you're working with which you do like they love hanging out with you you do provide care but I just like you get so much in return and I think that's something that's not always talked about is how much you gain from experience. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching some of our vlogs. Um, I'm so happy that we were able to get some of the highlights from the week on video because trips like this are so hard to explain to people. Like, we will never be able to fully show all the joy that we felt this week, all the things that we did, but I hope this gives you guys a little inside scoop on what we were able to accomplish. So, thanks for joining us. Bye.